Hello, my name is Andrew Carrier. I'm the Vice President for the Winnipeg Métis Association. I'm also the Minister for the Michif Language with the Manitoba Métis Federation for the Winnipeg Region. Well, first of all, I grew up uh, here in St. Boniface, um, having family in uh, St. Laurent, Manitoba. I had the opportunity to uh, visit uh, my uncle and cousins who uh, spoke Michif and um, had an opportunity to uh, practice uh, when I was younger to speak Michif and, uh, and uh, really uh, think it's a beautiful language. I know it's a beautiful language. It's very colorful and it's very distinct from any other language. Yes, well, as uh, I was saying earlier, the, um, I went to school here in St. Vital and um, I've experienced uh, very, my experience in the early, uh, 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 early ages in grade one uh, was very difficult because um, the Catholic school had uh, their definition of what uh, children should speak and they spoke the French language. Unfortunately, the Michif language uh, was deemed unacceptable and we were punished uh, uh, by the uh, uh, grade one teachers for speaking our language. I remember getting hit uh, quite a few times to, uh, for a proper pronunciation of the, the ruling our R's and so on, uh, and uh, forbidden to speak the Michif language. Um, it's really sad that um, uh, uh, my grandfather spoke uh, Michif, my father spoke Michif, I understood Michif, and, and uh, my, uh, what is really sad is that uh, my children, my boys who are now adults, have never heard the language and uh, uh, are, have never, we never had an opportunity to practice it uh, because uh, it wasn't taught in the schools and our parents, uh, um, not only the of language that we were, uh, uh, we uh, had hidden our uh, uh, Métis identity. Well, as the Minister for Michif, um, we're in the process of doing a lot of research and capturing our uh, Michif language. We've done audio videos of uh, Michif speakers from uh, uh, St. Eustache, from uh, uh, Turtle Mountains, as well as from St. Lana. Uh, we understand that uh, each community has a little bit of a dialect. Uh, some have a lot more French words, while others have other indigenous words in the Michif language, uh, whether it be Cree or Soto. Uh, but the Michif language is one language with different dialects, and uh, we are in the process of recording all that. We've, uh, we've uh, worked with different uh, uh, groups uh, to capture the Michif language by creating a dictionary. There's the most recent one was in St. Laurent, where the ladies of St. Laurent were able to uh, uh, sit together and capture uh, some of the Michif words and the sayings. Uh, as well, um, we have different dictionaries from uh, the uh, Garibald Dumont Institute, as well as from different researchers. So we're working a lot with our, uh, our uh, Prairie Provinces and capturing the Michif language right now. Uh, and it's, uh, it was studied, uh, uh, and it's one of the more younger uh, languages. I would say it's about 200 years old, where other languages are you know, thousands of years in the making. But ours uh, is one of the more uh, uh, genuine, uh, uh, homemade or prairie-made uh, languages. The, uh, the, as the, for the last uh, several years, our biggest challenge was to capture um, the different uh, words in Michif and the application of the of the uh, of the language. So some of the la challenges is how do we change go from capturing in a, a dictionary in a written format to a live uh, usage of the language in a in a uh, active setting. So uh, whether it be uh, in an office or out uh, uh, commercial fishing or hunting. Uh, it, what would be great to hear, the challenge is that we have uh, individual, different uh, Métis people um, using, uh, uh, regaining strength in the Mitchell flag. Yeah. What's most important for the next generation is uh, the opportunity to, uh, to hear and appreciate uh, that um, uh, their grandfathers and their grandmothers uh, who uh, lived in uh, Manitoba for the last two, three hundred years, and you know the generations uh, that um, the love and uh, Métis uh, culture is uh, is really important, and to realize that being Métis today is to accept your whole background. So if you're of French and, and Michif uh, speaking, uh, we have a lot of French influence. 
but you know we have to respect the fact that we are here today because of our, our Métis roots as well. So we need to recognize what that is and uh, be proud of that. As the Minister of Mission of Languages, we're really working towards uh, first of all, implementing uh, the Mitchell language of the early childhood uh, education level. We're looking at trying to implement um, uh, the Mitchell languages in our uh, daycare centers and so on and so forth. We're, uh, where we have uh, children's books uh, that are in, uh, written in English and the Mitchell language. And so there's an opportunity for the readers to practice, to read to the children. That, so uh, to uh, start to hear and understand the Michif language. Also, we have videos, uh, games, and, and uh, uh, songs in Michif that are available. And um, we're really, really uh, looking forward for uh, the kickoff, if you wish, to uh, start implementing uh, the Michif language. It's really, um, um, it's been years in the making, and uh, uh, we're, as a Métis people, we're, 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 we're regaining our pride of who we are. My vision for uh, Indigenous as well as Michif, uh, Michif uh, uh, culture is not to rewrite history, but to give a, a proper uh, uh, recognition of the uh, contribution that the Métis have done uh, here in Manitoba. Uh, we uh, in, in uh, Western Manitoba uh, were a predominant uh, factor on the, on the prairies and um, uh, what we're looking at is really trying to implement uh, self-identity as well as uh, identify what is the Métis culture. Because you've got to remember for the last three generations at least or more, uh, we have been in hiding. And so uh, like jigging and uh, fiddle playing, um, which are truly uh, the cornerstones of our, our, our Mitchell language for our entertainment, uh, have been in hiding and uh, uh, because uh, uh, society, when it comes to Indigenous and the Métis, have always um, seen us uh, not in a good light, in a good way. So uh, we really need to uh, uh, show uh, to ourselves, uh, you know, to be to regain that pride. I'm looking forward to uh, um, having uh, the Mitchell language in a public light, like in a movie or uh, on the radio. Uh, to make it, uh, because it's, it's a beautiful language and we need to preserve it.